What's going on guys, Yunei Gaming back with another MLB The Show 21 video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys how to complete Team of Infinity Season 1 super easily. With the addition of Season 2, they have made it so much easier to complete Season 1. It is beyond belief. And they didn't really even tell anybody. This was kind of just a self-discovered thing if you hadn't already completed Season 1. But people have only been focusing on Season 2, so not a lot of people have noticed this. So if we go to ALEs as an example, we go to exchanges, and then we go down to 5 showdown exchanges, you can see that now instead of 15 points for, five, for completing one showdown, you can now get 30. So that is a big buff. You can get halfway to this first pack by doing so. So you want, I'm going to tell you all the strategies you need to do to complete all of these. You don't have to do the conquest. You have to do very little showdowns. And a lot of it's going to be focused around these missions and the moments. That's what these are going to be focused around, missions and moments and maybe some collections as well to help you along the way. So make sure to hit subscribe for more tips videos like this and let me know what you guys want to see in future videos in the comments down below. Without further ado, let's get into the method. So what you want to do is you want to take a look at these missions. I'm assuming it's that most of you are at least at like 20 or something by now just from playing the game, whether you've been grinding it or not, because you've probably gotten innings, at least one of these done, and that should help you obviously help you towards this and you should obviously be getting more and more and more stuff so i'm um, assuming you need you're at like 20 by now what i recommend is before like starting the grind missions part of this moment this uh this method is getting to at least 60 team affinity points in every single program you want to be at least 60 so this method is a lot easier to do and you don't need to go in and do other stuff once you've already started it you can just tank it right through so once you've gotten to 60 you will have unlocked this pack which you get one of them this pack which you get one of them and this the same pack but you get another one so you get three total players and if you go to missions you can do you can take a look you get eight team affinity points put per one completing these they go for all of them so if you complete these with all the players you just unlocked you are going to get hold on let's do math 28 times 3 24 more points and that will automatically unlock this one for you then if you complete that one then you can get this and then you can complete that one to get and it goes on and on and on and on so i'd recommend uh just probably doing some moments from time to time to fill in the gap so it's not as tight because once you get to here you're not going to be able i think you'll barely be able to directly get to this one i don't even think you can so you might need to do some moments to fill the gap just because of this one but besides once you get past like the year and stuff you're once you get around 100 you're basically smooth sailing until you get to the end of this and finish it so what you're going to want to be doing is missions and you want to get extra base hits with the veteran reggie jackson you want to get two home runs with red sox veteran david ortiz you want six hits with yankees postseason alfonso soriano all these guys can be found inside these pack this pack so what you're going to want to do to do that is once you already have unlocked them and i went you got to around 60 what you're going to want to do is you're going to, want to go to single player modes First of all, you're going to want to go to your squad. You're going to make a squad with a bunch of guys you want to be grinding. So we're going to just filter and filter the 42 series. And we're going to also filter some AL East guys. So we're going to get Anthony Santander in here because he's part of it. So I'm going to just filter Red Sox now. I think they got Xander Bogart. He's probably already on this team. There you go, Xander. Now Yankee is going to look for Giancarlo Stanton. And then, uh, obviously, you are not going to have all these guys unlocked as of the time you're going to be doing this. But I'm just going to set up an example because you want to set up your team like similar to this. Who are the Blue Jays got? They got Bo. So Bo's already on the team as well. All right. So once you've done that, you want to find the other guys. I recommend just filtering. Uh, nah, not Legends Flashback. Filtering like 84 or below when you want to go looking for them. And... Uh, Boom, that's Gary Sheffield from another one. Let's find some of them. Uh, Sean Green, saw Longo there too, Longo and Reggie. So we got all these guys. You're going to want to start every single one of them. And the rest of the guys that you don't have filled out spots with, it's okay to put some guys out of position, but I wouldn't put, put them out of position at uh, either first or 
catcher, but this is just an example. The rest of the spots you're going to want to fill up with AL East players so you can help get innings and then get 20 more to help fill in some of those gaps. So once you have finished that, you're going to want to go on to, first of all, I think I don't think there's any pitchers ones for the American League East, so maybe this is a bad example. But if we go back to the AL East, and I don't think there's actually any pitchers in this pack. There aren't. So we're just going to use a pitcher from, no, this seems to be, we're going to use a pitcher from this pack in the AL Central. We're going to use this Shane Green. We're going to start this Shane Green. So we're going to get him in our bullpen. We're going to go man squad. We're going to go do all that. He's perfect. He's already here. So we're going to go to single player modes, play versus CPU, and you're going to go play the Orioles on rookie at home. And here's the two option split path. If you're on a next-gen console like I am, I recommend getting a created stadium with max elevation and is basically unite. Do this stadium, I don't know why it's kind of glitchy, United Ballpark. I made it, so I recommend using that. It's For some reason, the ball just flies there. So what we're going to do is we are going to want to set our lineup accordingly, but I don't really need to do that because i am obviously completed all these already. So as we're loading in, we're going to see the Orioles. We're going up against Matt Harvey. And like a lot of these pitchers you're going to be facing uh, with the Orioles are really bad. That's why you don't want to play at cores because some of their pitchers are a little bit harder to hit. And for the pitcher moments, all of them are strikeouts. So we're going to want to try and get strikeouts with Shane Green. I'm obviously not going to show you all of this, but I'm going to show you striking out Ryan Mountcastle. Then we'll probably go to the hitting clip. See, strikeout, super easy because it's on rookie. Gotta keep doing that, and even if you don't really want to be consciously using pinpoint and you just want to be spamming buttons, it's fine. You can do classic, and you're probably still not gonna touch them. So, boom, two strikeouts, but we got a non catcher behind the plate and a non first baseman at first, so that worked out somehow. All right, so now we're hitting against Harvey, very hittable pitch mix, and I don't know what the mission is for Santander, but we clearly did not complete it because we just ground it out. So, obviously, be selective with the pitches. And something I would do to try and remember what missions you're trying to complete. Okay, I know the one with Stan is two home runs. Is get like a Google Doc or a, like some sort of piece of paper near you so you can write down what you're doing as like you're completing them. And you can like cross them out as you finish them. So say I needed one more home run with Stanton. I need one more home run with Stan. I can just erase it and write one home run with Stan so I can remember what moment I'm going after and whether I completed it or not. That way I'm not playing after I finish. So the thing with home runs, it's just always you're going to complete it. Because whether it's a hit, an extra base hit, or a home run, it's just going to complete it. So that's awesome. Just hit a nuke with bow. So I recommend having some sort of writing thing to help you. Basically, uh, remember, what are you doing? So Reggie Jackson's was extra base hits. We got out, so that's not helpful um, towards our mission completion. So what I recommend doing, unless you're doing a pitcher moment, I'd recommend only going two or three innings. And if you're, you are doing a pitcher moment, I recommend just stopping as soon as you complete the pitcher's moment. Because then you know you're guaranteed one done. Once you get a certain amount of strikeouts with the pitcher, it's kind of like a moment. There's strikeout tally moments I just quit after them unless like obviously there's a good situation where I'd want to just keep going but anyway that's an example we got some point and if we leave and go on the exit screen we can see some of the stuff we're gonna obviously get from that now I completed every single one of them so it's not going to matter too much and it's not gonna say any program pro progress because they just patched it because I already finished it so anyway, and if you get a certain amount, if you do eight plate appearances in one uh, sitting for that, you will get some parallel XP as well. So this works for every single one of them. I'd re to recap, I'd recommend getting to around 60 points without starting this method because that's the easiest way to keep it going for the longest and maybe doing some moments as well. So you guys should probably, if you've been playing the game consistently since like launch, you should easily be at 60 points or like at least 40 points already without grinding Team Affinity at all. And with this, you can get a bunch of 88 overalls and this can ultimately lead to you collecting 99 Jackie Robinson because I promise you that the 42 series cards that cost a bunch 
like this Frank Thomas. I know they're also going for a bunch now, but they are sooner or later they're gonna start going down. And you can get this mini Minoso and Larry Doby without any of any of the buy a hole guys. Which is awesome. And obviously Jackie Robinson is a very good card, and you guys are going to want to get him. So I think that's gonna wrap up today's tips video. If you did enjoy and found this helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and make sure to leave any comments. Uh, with any questions that you have down below. I will answer every single question as soon as I get the chance to. Anyway, thanks a ton for watching.